Wild Turtle and Bio Frost. Right. There's a flash, the fight, it's a minion, it's special! In NA, there's not a lot of teams to cheer for because all of our teams suck. All right, people, we got to talk. NALCS is literally the worst fucking league that LCS has ever seen ever. What up, everyone? It's your boy, Zona right here, coming at you with a new video. Today, guys, I'm going to talk a bit. I'm going to rant. I'm going to roast. I just want to talk about NALCS uh, because yesterday I saw some content and I was like, what the hell is this? This must be stopped because honestly, the story is repeating itself and it's kind of pissing me off. The reason why I'm trying to call out NLCS and NLCS players is that it's just going too far. And honestly, it's kind of pissing me off because, well, the level is not increasing and just the scene and the entertainment is absolutely ridiculous. If you guys are a TSM fan, if you guys are an NLCS, Clan 9 fan, if you guys watch this on a daily basis and you're impressed by the level of play, you must be a bronze 5 or you just must be not even level 30. Guys, you gotta understand that NLCS sucks. It's the worst league in the world. Besides all the minor leagues like Brazil or Turkey and all that stuff. In the major leagues, which is NLCS, EULCS, LPL, LCK, LMS, they're just the worst. And honestly guys, it's really sad. As I told you in the many videos, I've been a shoutcaster and... Two, three years ago, I used to shoutcast in LCS. It used to be my job. And back then, we were already complaining on how bad the level of play was. Don't get me wrong. I don't think that I'm better than Bjergsen in the mid lane. I don't think that I'm better than any LCS player out there. But I don't need to be challenger to tell you that someone is bad at the game. I just watch a lot of esports and I just compare it to Korea, which is the number one region in the world right now. But the thing I want to talk about and the thing I want to rant about is it's pissing me off how every world championship everyone expects and everyone is okay with knowing that Korea is going to win or China. How can people be okay with that? In what world is it okay to just be okay with not winning. I said we as NLCS, I'm not necessarily like American or whatever, but even EULCS, we're just okay seeing Koreans win. How fucked up is that? How in any sports do you see that happening? I mean, there's always an underdog, there's always um, a guy that is supposed to win. It's okay, like it, this is competition, but in League of Legends, it's so built into every single player's brain that Koreans are better. It is just nonsense. And it just pissed me off. It really pisses me off. When I see people on Reddit talking about how Korea is better, uh, and they do like, I mean, I don't care, but like they do racist joke on how Asians are and gaming and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Bro, Koreans are good because they work fucking hard. NLCS players are not good because they don't work hard. That's it, period. When you think about how Koreans got the video game, after uh, North Americans, that's the only proof you need to know that this whole thing is fucked up. Faker installed the game when players in America already played for months, if it's not years. That must be like triggering something in your mind telling you that it's fucked up. It's really fucked up, guys. Like, honestly. And I hate it to be okay. I just want you guys to erase this from your head. It's not okay. TSM could beat SKTT1 if they work hard for it. Anyone could beat SKTT1 if they work hard for it. They're good as shit because they work hard and they work harder than anyone else ever in this video game. Period. Nothing else. And you know, guys. I want to refer to some interviews that I've seen before World Championship. And it's, you know, when they're trying to hype up something, they just show some interviews, they show some pre-rolls. It's really cool. Pay attention to what Korean players say, and then go ahead and see what NL NLCS players said, and you just see how fucked up everything is. The Korean is like, yo, I work hard, I want to win, want to make my family proud. I work so hard, I know what my opponent is about, I know what I gotta do to win, I'm motivated, I'm the best, I'm gonna crush everyone, it's over. It's good, right? It's motivating, like you wanna cheer for that, you wanna support that. NLCS comes up in the interview, the guy's like, oh, uh, we hope we can do better than group stage, hopefully we cannot disappoint our fans. I really do want to make it out of groups though, but at least this way, if we make it out of groups, it's an actual achievement. We're not just like winning against easy teams, so yeah, we just need to not shit the bed. 
you can't just go to a tournament and say, and you have millions of people watching, millions of people are a fan of you and stuff, and you're getting paid millions to play League of Legends, which is the best fucking job in the world, and you're like, yo, we just need to not shit the bit. We just want to do better than last year, which is go above the group stage. Uh, but honestly, like, the Koreans are the best. They're not the best. They just work harder than you. And honestly, it really saddens me. Like, I think it's very bad for the industry and very bad for the esports scene. I'm not saying that just to insult any LCS player. That's not my goal. Like, I don't really care. Like, I honestly understand as well why they do this. Because... We just made it, as fans and viewers, we just make it a standard. We just made it okay that Koreans are just better and that's the way it is. If you're a TSM player right now, if you're like the top player in NA, you're getting paid a lot of money, you live in Los Angeles, you can do whatever you want, you have fans, you have viewers in your Twitch channels, you can do a YouTube channel if you want, all that stuff, it's not gonna matter. People will forgive you if you get disqualify after group stage. I think that if you're Brooksin, you're just like, yo, I'm chill, man. My fans are here. I did group stage. They're even proud of me. They're all cheering. They're all proud of me for presenting TSM and North America at Words. Why not? Like, I mean, why why do anything else than that? Like, why just, why work harder when your fans are here? So, it's not even calling out LCS team. It's also calling you guys that are viewers and that are making this whole thing okay. Guys, it's not okay. Koreans are not meant to win, Asian gamers are not meant to win, and I see a lot of racist jokes about this on Reddit, like it's fucking normal that Asian gamers win. As fucked up as that is, like, it's only true because they work harder than us, period. I don't believe in anything else. Maybe it's in their culture, maybe video game uh, esport is in, is in their culture, but bro, it's too late now to say that. Like, esports has been here for years, players has been, have been in gaming house in perfect condition to play and be the best every fucking year. They go to Korea every year to boot camp, they go to China, they, they, they have all those resources to be the best. There's no really an excuse to not be the best at this point. Top 4 at Worlds is gonna be our girl. Anything below that is gonna be devastating. So guys, like, I'm, I don't mean to insult or provoke anyone in the LCS industry or the LCS teams. I don't mean to provoke any of you guys watching this video, but I feel like it's important to just reset it. Reset this whole mindset of saying Korean players are better because it's very not healthy for the industry. Like who is gonna watch worse in two, three, five years if you already know who's gonna win? We just need to not shit the bit. If it's just okay for an LCS to do group stage or worst. What? What? Why is that happening? I, I don't get it. And it, honestly, it's the same for EULCS. But EULCS is still a little bit better than NLCS, and it's not as ridiculous as you can see in the streams. Like, honestly, guys, there's so much plays in NLCS that I see, and I'm like, what is this? What is this? Those players are supposed to be top-class players. They're supposed to be great at the game. And sometimes you see things that are, you're like, what is happening? Like, what is happening? It's honestly not even my job to make people feel bad or stuff like that, but I honestly think that I make strong points, and those things should be resolved, or otherwise it could be very bad for the eSport industry and how people are watching LOL eSport in two, three, four years. Because, let me tell you something, guys. If the Koreans keep winning, the game is gonna die. Like, the game is gonna die. If, if the challenge is not there and the competition is not there, even the Koreans are just gonna leave. They're gonna be like, we don't have any competition. What the hell is this? I won't even be surprised if they stop going to words because like other teams are not showing a top class level. That's pretty much it for this conversation, guys. I honestly want you to react in this comment section and just tell me what you think. Uh, maybe I, I'm wrong on some points and I would love to hear your opinion on stuff. Uh, I'm always open to discussion. I'm always open to conversation and I love to hear you say. If you're an SGS player and... Uh, you're watching this video by a share or a retweet or whatever, know that you have the best job in the world and I understand the comfort of it right now and that the fact that the league is like this and that you don't have to work as hard because it's okay. But for the sake of the industry, for the sake of the game that make your career, it's better to aim higher than you already have because, well, being top in your region is something, but being top of the world is another. And...
it's not my purpose here to roast you or like to make some drama on any sort or anything, but it's just me speaking from my heart about what I think of this industry and how fucked up I think it is. This cannot go on. Like, NLCS is a joke for other region, and I don't think it's really good. There's so much money going on. When you see NBA investing, when you see all those people investing in esports in North America, it makes me proud of the industry, but I don't think it's deserved. I honestly don't think it's deserved because next to it, in the world competition uh, arena, we're just... Peop other, other regions are making jokes out of us. And I just hate that. I, I hate that. I honestly want to hear Birksen saying, we're TSM, we represent North America, and we're about to take the whole thing. Watch out, SKT21. It's going down. I want to hear that. I want to be hype. Right now, I don't have this, and it really, really saddens me. So guys, if you share uh, the same opinion as me, uh, if you want to share this on your social media, it would mean a lot to me to promote my YouTube channel. Also, please feel free to subscribe and like this video. It really, really, really helps. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you so much for spending a little minutes with me. I'll see you for the next video tomorrow. Peace. When you hear TSM chants, it's almost like you're hearing like a USA chant. You know, like there's a lot of pride in that, and I'm I'm proud that I'm part of TSM. I'm proud that I'm representing America for for worlds. Bye.